These days, at least in Israel, children don't get uh, a prosthetic from the government. Even adults can't afford a bionic hand. They, they can only get uh, only aesthetic hands that don't have any functionality. There are some uh, daily activities that this hand really helps with. Uh, they can hold two things simultaneously, they can catch a ball, uh, and they can do other things that they weren't able to do before. The process starts uh, when we meet the child in, in Haifa 3D. We tailor-made each of the hands uh, to the child, and uh, we also gave them the ability to customize the design however they want. Today's options are mostly or, um, a hook hand, a body powered hand, um, and uh, a robotic hand. So the robotic hands can cost thousands of dollars. The hook prosthetic gives only one option to close or to open, and uh, here we try to, to give more options specifically suitable for kids with their superhero on the hands or with their colors. Working on further developing these uh, devices, these prosthetic hands, we're trying to make an entirely digital uh, design process from the minute we meet the child until the hand is ready. Most of the hands were given to children in, in Israel. We also made hands for a child from the Gaza Strip and from the West Bank. We've given hands to a child in Syria and sent designs that were designed here in the Technion to, to Brazil, uh, US and the UK. So this project is very multidisciplinary. It ranges from physicians to um, biomedical engineers to electrical engineers and mechanical engineers. And basically, the Technion provides a great hub for this collaboration to create this uh, multidisciplinary project and also a great uh, place for creating these innovative uh, research projects like these 3D printed prosthetic hands. I came here to Technion because I heard they are doing a great research here. I want to specify my research in medical robotics and I heard about um, the prosthetic hand project here. And that's why I choose this project where I am implementing haptic feedback to this 3D printed prosthesis. Hopefully one day um, the, the prosthetic industry will, will move forward and hands will be affordable for anyone. But for now we just, uh, we just give the hands for free. The main impact of the hands that we give to children are um, psychological. So from being the last kid in the class, trying not to be seen, these kids become the superheroes of their class. They have a bionic hands, they have Superman, Iron Man, Spider-Man hands. They have like the coolest new thing in the class. And from always like walk like this, don't want to show their hand, they always look with the, with, with the hands uh, in front, they're very proud with what they have and they um, became special. This is a very important project from the aspect of the social impact that it gives. So we want to educate our students, our graduates, our community, Technion community, to become more involved in, in, in outside also of campus and this is one of those outreach activities that have a large impact on society and educate our students to become leaders, not just technological leaders, entrepreneurial leaders, but also leaders in impact, you know, ROI, return on impact, the impact that they bring to society and uh, with the technology. And I think this is the strength of the Technion.